Okay, this video is all about angles, so I'm going to draw part of a circle. At that point here I'm going to call Q, this point here I'm going to call P, draw a perpendicular down, call that N, I'm going to say the radius of this circle is 1, and I'm going to call the angle in here B, and the angle in here A. Be careful, I'm saying that A is the whole of that angle there. It's not this angle here. A is all the angle here. It's N-O-Q. So let's think about triangle O-P-N. We've got cosine of B is adjacent. That's N-O-N -N divided by hypotenuse, which is 1. So in other words, O N must equal cos B. <clears throat> Let's think about triangle OPN again and think about the sine of B. The sine of B is adjacent, that's, sorry, it's opposite, that's PN over hypotenuse, that's 1. So therefore PN is sine B. So the coordinates of P are cos B sine B. And in a similar way, the coordinates of Q are cos A sine A. This works because the radius of the circle is 1. What we're going to think about is the length of the line from P to Q. That's meant to be a straight line. So the length of the line from P to Q, there's two ways of doing it. We're going to do the cosine rule later, but the other way is this, uh, this way here. So let's call this length M and this length N. Then the length P Q, PQ squared we can get by M squared plus N squared. But M is the length from here to here, so that's the whole of this length, the whole of that length, minus that length there. So it's the X coordinate of P minus the X coordinate of Q. So this is uh, works out to be cos B minus cos A, all squared. In a similar way, the length m is going to be the height of q, which is sine a, minus the height of p, which is sine b, squared. So let's expand those brackets. Cos b minus cos a all squared, so that's cos squared b minus 2 cos a cos b plus cos squared a. Let's expand the second bracket. Got sine squared a minus 2 sine a sine b plus sine squared b. Now, what we've got here, cos squared b plus sine squared b, that's 1. Cos squared a plus sine squared a, that's 1. 1 and 1, I think, is 2. So it's 2 minus 2 cos a cos b minus 2 sine a sine b. And just because I know what's coming up next, I'm going to sort of factorise it, factorise it a little bit. So it's 2 minus 2 cos A cos B plus sine A sine B. Uh, it's a plus there because minus multiplied by plus gives me that minus. Now, I talked about how we could also, uh, of course, use the cosine rule to work out PQ squared. So PQ squared, uh, think about the triangle POQ. So this length here is 1, this length here is 1, and the angle here is A minus B. So this angle here is the whole of A minus B. So this angle is A minus B. So PQ squared is 1 squared plus 1 squared minus 2 times 1 times 1 times the cosine of A minus B. So that 1 on 1 again is 2, so it's 2 minus 2 cos A minus B. So you compare this with this, this whole lot here, that's 2, that's 2. Both of these are PQ squared, so this bit here must equal this bit here. And this is the rule that we're after, that cos A minus B is cos A cos B plus sine A, sine B.
Now, there are four similar rules to this. We've just said that cos A minus B is cos A cos B plus sin A sin B. There's a similar rule for uh, the sine of A minus B, and that's sine A cos B minus cos A sine B. There's also a similar rule for the uh, sine of A plus B, and that's sine A cos B plus cos A sine B. And then there's a similar rule for the cosine of A plus B, which is cos A cos B minus sine A sine sine B. So notice that the when it's cosine, the plus there has got a minus. Minus becomes a plus. When it's the sine, the uh, signs there in the middle there are the same. So this is normally written in this form. Sine A plus or minus B is sine A cos B because both of these are the same. Then plus or minus cos A sine B. So you can either read the top part where you've got a plus here and a plus there, or you've got a minus part uh, there. And then the equivalent rule for cosine is cos A plus or minus B is cos A cos B minus or plus sine A sine B. And again, read the top part, it's a plus there and a minus there. Um, or read the bottom bit where there might, that it's a minus there and a plus there. Now I'm not going to go through the proof of those with you, uh, nor am I going to go through the proof of the one for tan. Tan A plus or minus B is tan A plus or minus tan B over 1 minus or plus tan A multiplied by tan B. Now, one of the things we can look at is what's the sine of 75 degrees. We can work this out just by using our special triangles. The sine of 75 degrees is the sine of 45 plus 30. So using the compound angle formula, it's sine 45 cos 30 plus cos 45 sine, th sine 30. What's the sine of 45? It's root 2 over 2. What's the cosine of 30? It's root 3 over 2. What's the cosine of 45? Root 2 over 2. And the sine of 30 is a half. So this is root 6 over 4 plus root 2 over 4. Or root 6 plus root 2 all divided by 4. And there's similar application for all sorts of other angles which we're going to look at in the lesson.